Professor Rajiv Vijayasinghe, Member of Parliament, Honorable Dr. Subramanian Swami, Member of Parliament and Leader of Bharatiya Janata Party of India, <coughs> the Secretary of Defense and Urban Development, Skura Be Rajapaksa, Defense Secretary of Pakistan, Your Excellencies, Chief of Defense Staff of Sri Lanka, Commander of the Sri Lanka Navy and Sri Lanka Air Force, Chief of Defense Force of Maldives, Royal Brunei Land Force Commander, Past Service Commanders, Guest Speakers, Distinguished Delegates from home and abroad, ladies and gentlemen. The challenges that countries in crisis and post-conflict situation face are complex, multifaceted, and very vary due to the variety of different historical root causes of conflict and the different political, social, and geographical context. The strategies to address these challenges and effectively support a country on a path of recovery, development, and durable peace is therefore diverse. What works in one country does not necessarily work in another. Nevertheless, some principles are key to sustainable peace. These could be summarized as focused and committed leadership, security, solid government structures providing basic services, building people's trust and legitimacy, information dissemination, sound civic dialogue, mediation, and community participation. Fittingly, to put the Sri Lankan experience in context this morning, we are fortunate to have Honorable GL, Professor G. L. Peris, the Minister of External Affairs of Sri Lanka. Professor Peris earned a doctorate in philosophy from the University of Oxford in 1971. He was a Rhodes Scholar of Oxford University from 1968 to 71. He has functioned as a Professor of Law, Dean of the Faculty of Law, and the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo. He was a visiting fellow of All Souls College, University of Oxford during 1980-81, a distinguished visiting fellow of Christ College, University of Cambridge during 1985-86, and a Butterworth visiting fellow of the Institute of Advanced Legal Studies in the University of London during 1983 and 84. He has authored 12 books and over 75 papers published in international journals. Professor Peris entered Parliament in 1994 after his illustrious academic career and function in the portfolios of Minister of Export Development and Internal Trade, Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Minister of Ethnic Affairs and National Integration, Minister of Enterprise Development, Investment, Promotion and Industrial Policy. Professor Peris has been closely associated with the foreign policy issues and has wide experience in law and international relations. It is my pleasure to call upon Professor G.L. Peris to address you. Thank you. Sri Subramaniam Swami, leader of the Bharat Janata Party, Dr. Rajiv Vijay Singh, member of the Parliament of Sri Lanka, Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksa, Secretary to the Ministry of Defense and Urban Development, Chief of Defense Staff, Commanders of the Army, Navy, and Air Force, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates to this conference, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to begin by congratulating Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksa and the defense establishment on this very timely initiative. It can truly be described as a need of the hour when there is a great deal of criticism founded upon erroneous premises, there are false assumptions made. I think the best answer to this is complete, accurate, up-to-date information. That was precisely what was provided to all of you in abundant measure by the comprehensive presentation that was made by Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksa this morning. 
The purpose of this seminar is to focus upon